Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And this is part five of the Russian Navy Varyag build, 1350 scale from Trumpeter. And in this part, we're going to look at um, painting a lot of air parts which have already been done. They're drying, they're all done in a primer undercoat. And uh, we'll bring them out in this part and have a look at those. And uh, hopefully I'll also get the base coat on those today. Now I'm just up to doing this. Looks like a radar system of some sort sitting on the top of uh, this structure, which is sort of behind the helicopter um, area of the ship. Um, I'll put a picture up showing exactly what it is we're doing now this piece lacks a lot of detail um, the doors for instance on here hopefully camera is going to focus for me focus camera there we go so the doors are pretty much there's two three four doors on there which just look like lumps of plastic so we're going to put some more realistic doors on there on the back of there, there should be a ladder, which there isn't, which we're going to put on there um, to get up. There's also going to put some railing around there because on the ship there's some railing. And this will all be grey except for the top flat area there where they walk around on, which will be that deck orange colour that we're doing. Um, so we're going to get this piece looking a bit more realistic. Um, it's going to sit on this, which is not a problem, that'll be underneath. And this is the dome, which will be a, a white or an off-white colour, um, which is just going to connect onto the front there, like that. So that should be all right. There's nothing I need to add on to that. So, yeah, so I'm going to add a, a little bit of... we got some... Uh, some doors here, different variety of doors to put on, and we've got some railing as well. So I'm going to get to start start work on this, and we'll have a look at this when it's done and ready to put an undercoat on. And then uh, we'll come back and have a look at uh, what I've painted. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So let's take a look at this radar unit that I've just finished. Camera's going to work for me. There we go. So we got some railing on there. We got some doors to get in. We got a ladder on the back. And, uh, yeah, looking much better. This is ready to give a bit of undercoat to now. Um, I decided to put the railing on now because I'm not going to do the orange um, walkway around that. I'm going to leave it grey. It should be a lot easier. And, uh, yeah. All right, so now I'll just go grab a couple of the bits I've painted and we'll have a look at those. Be back in a second. Okay, so... The missile tubes that go on the deck are painted up with their final base coat. Let's see, get a better view. There we go. So they've come up nice. That, there's a second one there. So they're all ready to go on. And also, I'll just put them away. We have the deck which is here so we've done the black and there it is and uh, I'm ready to take the tape off that which should have stayed grey <laughs> fingers crossed and I'll take all this tape off here as well because um, that'll be done um, also, the other part of the deck here is all painted up too. And we've got plenty of masking tape to take off 
taped all around the sides where it was going to stay grey. There's the red orange deck area under here, which hopefully survives the black coat, including a bit of the red where it overlaps under there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take off this marking tape now and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a good result. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back again. So, here we go with our deck pieces, all our masking. Oh, I haven't done the tape on that. We'll do that. <laughs> uh, so, this all came off really nice. I've got the little grey bit left in there that I wanted on the other side um, the rest of that is pieces I've made up so that'll be fine um, there was one little spot there you can see that I'll need to touch up um, and on that wall in there I've got a few spots that came off as you can see under there but if I remember right I think that our hangar door is up there where that will be covered up that'll be out of sight anyway and the other side, uh, yeah, beautiful, nice straight line there. Um, the only bits that came up were where the superstructure are going to sit on. So those little spots I don't have to worry about. And now I've just got to take off this, which we can do this now. Just uh, find that. Yeah, peel this off gently. Looks good. One on the inside. There we go. Again. Perfect. Looking good. All right. So I'll put these somewhere aside safe and uh, yeah, paint this little fellow up and then we'll come back and pretty much we can skip forward a bit. I'd like to somewhere back here. Have I lost Mr. Page somewhere? Here it is. So we want to put the helicopter landing pad together. There's quite a bit of photo which go around the outside on that. Um, so we'll we'll go and put that together. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back again and. So I've been building up the this um, tower here and I come across a bit of a problem. So there's the uh, tower I'm putting together. There's a photo etch version or there's the plastic version. You can do either way. So I've obviously gone the photo etch way for the more realistic but then the top of the photo etch one is just there's nothing there whereas the top of the plastic one there's a light a little light on the top and the whole piece itself was a clear piece so what i've done was i've used the photo etch one but what i've done is i've cut the top of the clear one off and placed it on the top of here so now I have the missing uh, bit at the top which will have a light on it. So that's gone well. So I'll put that back. Now that goes on top of this. Uh, it goes on, on the center, in the center of that. Now on the end here is a radar. And going by the instructions here, it's called Top Plate Search Radar. And I'm thinking, I don't think I'm, I don't remember putting together anything that looks like that. I don't even recognize the name. So I've gone back 
through the instructions trying to find this top plate search radar and then I've come across on the previous page at the top here where I did all these radars there's an air search radar now that's what the air search radar is a large curved one and then the, a longer curved piece sorry you can't see so there's a large curved piece there and then a long piece on that end of it anyway I've built that okay but it's called just an air search radar not a top plate search radar and then if we look in in my container here there it is there built All right now you tell me does that all right that look anything like that um no the this top search radar has just two rectangular pieces on each side of a single piece but this is the piece that's missing uh, the earth air search radar because it has to be this doesn't go anywhere else i've been and checked everywhere on the structure and this doesn't go anywhere else and that piece is not even going ahead in the instructions because sometimes that happens uh, there's nothing there so if you happen to be doing this and you get to this point here and you go ah search radar and then you go looking for it and go oh, where's that i don't see that anywhere it doesn't tell me how to build that or where that comes from it's not a top plate search radar it's the air search radar and it doesn't look anything like that um, which is strange because even on the picture of the ship on the box it looks like that square one not like what i've built and then when we look at the ship itself it's a bit harder to tell but uh well there you go so on the ship itself that's it there at the top so you know that's the piece there so you tell me does it look like what i just built no, it doesn't. Um, but anyway, I will double check things, but I'm pretty sure that's the piece it is because that doesn't go anywhere else. It has to be that. All right. Okay, so I will continue on and um, I want to get these pieces glued on to this so that this can also go over with my here you'll see the helicopter pad with all the railings uh, all finished. So that's ready for painting. And the other radar unit that you saw before with the railings and doors also ready to be. That's also here ready to paint. Okay, so I'll be back then, back shortly. Okay, so just an update on that uh, radar. Uh, it's definitely wrong so the part included with the kit as part of the kit um, and that shows you the instructions on how to make that part which is this one the instructions on making the part are correct that that's what it's supposed to look like but when it comes to putting it on where it belongs it looks different it, it's it's a completely look different looking piece not only on the instructions but also on the paint guide and also on the um, box art and as you'll see in the photo I'll put up on the real ship uh, and all the Variag ship videos and photos I can see show this other radar up on the top there not the one that's in the kit but there's nothing I can do about it because this is what they supplied me with and this is what I've got to use. So there's uh, something going wrong there. <laughs> All right, back shortly.
Okay, hello, welcome back again. And uh, I just found out a few things about the radar unit, and it turns out that it is wrong. Um, there's a Slava class, which is a, a, just a cruiser, but isn't actually the missile cruiser. And it has the radar that we, that came with this kit. You can get those models as well. So, but they've obviously put in the same piece for this uh, missile cruiser as well. Um, so that's what's happened there. Uh, they've just, rather than swap it out for what it should be, um, they've left the, the wrong one in there for the other class. Anyway, what's done's done. Um, another thing too I checked on was the helicopter landing pod, pad. I mentioned that that was uh, actually green. Uh, it wasn't green. Uh, on the other class ship it is green but on the actual missile destroyer they are that deck red color that we see here so i'll be painting it that color um, so what i've done now here is i've touched up some of the little bits and pieces of gray on the deck here and um, very very carefully um, went in there and did all that now I'll be doing that. I'll be doing that with uh, this. There's a lot more on this, uh, including the supports for the uh, launch boats. There, um, there's a few other bits and pieces that need to be grey as well as all around the side. So um, I'll get on to start touching up this because then I should be at the point where I can actually attach this to the ship itself. And I'd like to do that before I start putting any superstructure down. All right, so I'll, I'll get on to this and um, start uh, touching it all up. The other pieces that are all in the other room, all the little bits and pieces of radar and uh, other superstructure, I've just given the base coat, uh, including the deck color here for the helicopter landing pad. They've just been painted, so I'll give them uh, most of the day to dry properly. And then uh, we'll come back out and we'll have a look at everything as it stands in the build process. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. And, uh, as you can see, this is all my bits and pieces that are painted. Some are still drying. Um... The uh, missile launchers along the deck, they're done. They should be fine now. Um, pretty much at the point now where I can attach these two pieces of deck to the main ship itself. We've got the bridge and the main superstructure here all done. Um, sides ready to go on. Top to go on top of the bridge. That's all set to go on there. and They're all dry. We've got back here heading towards the helicopter landing pad structure down through into here um, the smokestack of course that's all the smokestack in there so that's all ready to be put together pretty much we've got some more superstructure here uh, some masking tape to take off there for some of the windows in that piece and uh, that is actually the top of the, I think that's, yeah, that's part of the top of the hangar area. Over here we've got the hangar, see that here, um, the crane, the hangar area, uh, some ventilation bits go on the ground at the back. We've got a radar unit on top here that's all painted up. See that's all ready to go. That's the main big radar uh, we've got our uh, helicopter pad here if I can grab that careful in here all right so the helicopter pad done the deck oranges said of course there's decals to go on that and also the netting around the side it needs to be painted white so I'll be doing that actually put that aside I'll do that now uh, more top of the tower uh, there's our controversial radar we'll be using. And uh, 
yeah so that's all set to go too uh so now i'm pretty much going to go back after, i'm also going to after i paint the net around the um helicopter pad back to the step one here which is putting the deck down onto the ship itself which we've also got all painted up and done um so gluing that down and then we can start putting bits and pieces on top my favorite part because <laughs> that's when you start to see uh, something that looks like a ship coming together all right so i'll put all this back away sort myself out here get everything organized there's still more to paint of course i've still got the missile launches from the deck they need to be painted these or none of this is um primed yet so there's lots of little bits and pieces there and we've got more of course but we'll start having uh the ship start coming together but that's all going to be in the next video that'll be in part uh six is what we'll be up to so until then um thanks for watching um, please subscribe if you haven't already hit that notifications bell to get notified of uh, the videos as they get uploaded um, comment below welcome any comments and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, hopefully i'll see you all in part six of the russian navy barry yag 1350 scale by trumpeter okay thanks see you later.